today I bring in the audio, the media audio for the Hero 9. They do make it for the 8, 9, and 10. This is compatible with 9 and 10, but um, if you can see it, it tells you right here what's included, the mic, two directional mic, uh, 3.5 millimeter mic port, an HDMI out port, and US USB type C connection. So we're gonna open it up, and right now I'm using the mic that's built in the actual system right now which is okay, but we're gonna use this one, see how well it works, and what else can you attach to it? It comes in as basic instructions, but we're gonna open it up and see what you get when you purchase something like this. Heroes that you guys have, on a course, they give you an extra screw and setup. Uh, they give you actually a filter for any kind of air filter, so if you're on the open, you don't hear that air noise pretty much, and this is the actual unit itself. You can see the mic, it's right in front of it. If you can see, there's a big large mic in here, and there's another one in the back, but smaller. And then you got all your ports in here that you have to open it up. Um, let's see if I can open one up. Yep, there they go. Keep them open. So you get your ports. You get your HDMI, your micro HDMI, um, Type C if you want to keep powering up, and also your 3.5 jack. Um, of course, it has the buttons for the power button and the input, the Type C input. If you guys can see it right there, it's basic. Um, this is probably one of my best um, um, GoPros that I have right now. Uh, I do have a seven, and I do have a. This is a seven, and it's not compatible with this one. If you guys can see it, um, but it's compatible with the nine, and that's what I'm filming right, right now with. And we're gonna start testing it out, see how well it works in. All right, so when you want to open it up first, all right? So here's my nine, if you guys can see the GoPro nine. We're gonna open it up. Um, there's a little button latch here that you lift up, all right? And that's pretty much how it slides in here. Um, one thing that I found a problem that you need to remove any kind of protective glass that you have in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Remove it first, because it is not compatible with this system. Um, it wasn't going in, it actually cracked it just a little bit, so you're gonna have to slide it in there, and that's how it goes in, and then locks in. That's pretty much, if you don't do that, um, there we go, we locked it in. So we had to remove our glass, unfortunately. Um, I'm not gonna be able to put that in back in there. I might have to buy us uh, um, just a, a slip on one, maybe, because the glass is actually that I have is too thick for it, and it did crack. If you can see, I'm not gonna put it back no more. So it's a sacrifice you do. Now, uh, perfectly all the buttons, and then you go attach systems here for lighting, uh, a directional mic, it's, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just find the direction where this actually fits in. If you guys can see it right here, there's a new indication, just drop it in there and that's it. That's pretty much what you do. Um, so one thing that I did like about it was that you still have access to your bottom feet here for the grip. I don't know what you call them, but it's pretty much how they have access there. And we're gonna test it out, see what else how it works. So well, I do have this LED light, generic light, if you guys can see it, and it does slip on, you know? It's just like regular basic camera slip on and you could just tie it up and you should be set. Now, I do have a, a, a assistant sliding, so, um, you can buy attachments too and add them and you could add your other attachment right here if you can see it um, Power on this is gonna be separate from actually this thing and you could do a little movie studio lighting 4k and everything Interviews all sorts of things. This is great. Also, you could add additional microphones in here if you can see that or, or your heads if you want to listen into it too. So uh, a couple of things you need to know you don't you can't put the glass like I said uh, you're gonna have to replace that. You're gonna have to remove that. You can have one. Uh, we're gonna take it off. We don't need this. It's too bulky right now. But let's go ahead and test it out. See how well it works with it now. All right. If you can see it, I'm mounting it on one of my enhanced um, modules that I have, and there is an indentation there where it, actually you can screw it in in there. Um, if you can see it all around. So we're gonna go ahead and come back and see how well it works with this mic. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see how well it works. We're gonna do one, two, three here in the front. So we, we have the microphone right in front of us. We're like maybe a foot and a half, maybe two feet away from it right now. Uh, this is pretty good for interviews. And now one thing that you guys be aware, 
this does not is not waterproof. It does not protect your phone, your your actual GoPro. So you got to be careful not to throw this in the water. Um, you can splash a little bit of water here and there if it's rainy or something like that. But there's a lot of objects that might get damaged in any kind of moisture. It even tells you in the book do not drop this. All right. So basic uh, fog and stuff like that, any kind of moisture, you're okay. But there's a, a be aware that this is not. You cannot submerge this. It's not a hundred percent submergible at all. Uh, unless you take and remove all these items, of course. And we're gonna flip it around, see how it works. And right now we're gonna flip it around and see if you could actually hear me. So we're gonna do another test, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And I can actually see the green lights on this phone. So I like one thing that you could actually see this stuff, so which is really good. So let's go ahead and continue with the demo. And um, I like it so far. Um, and now that I, when I set this up, I've never seen this bar before in the back. It's all green now. It shows like green when you're talking. So, which is a great thing to have. I like that. So it tells you that the actual microphone is working right now, of course, but we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna continue doing the test and I'm gonna see if I can film the screen part of it, right? So if you guys can see the green part of it, it it's, <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. Before it wasn't there. And now when I flip it, test one, two, three, test one, two, three, you can see it. It works very well. 